Hello, welcome to my channel. So today is the Lunar New Year. It's the year of the ox. So I thought uh, we'd do a little uh, chill drawing time and uh, draw ourselves a cute little ox. So uh, get some tea, join me, or just uh, come along for the ride. <laughs> I am going to be drawing a Scottish ox based on <laughs> oh, it's a little bit blown out but I found this at a, a value village come on stay there um, make sure it's still in the frame okay oh yeah there it is um, many years ago not knowing what it was, but I was like, this thing is so cute. I later found out it's an ox. And it's, of all the cows, I mean, this has got to be the cutest one. So, I did, as you can see here, I... Ox? Cows are something I'm not actually that familiar with drawing, so I did... I was just, like, looking up videos and photos earlier and sort of just did some sketches of different parts. I'm just going to draw the face today. Um, so I just did some sketches of different parts of the face so that I could kind of remember the anatomy of it because a lot of animals, I like drawing like cats and mice and they kind of have some pretty similar facial structure that I find easier to make into cartoony kind of look. Whereas an ox has like a very long front part of the face and strange muzzle so I wanted to uh, make sure I could kind of get that right. So this is kind of what I think we're going to draw. So I guess let's just start. I'll start, start with the horns because I know the horns are the biggest part and we need to make sure that they fit in the <laughs> on this page. I think they should just take up yeah like that. And then the head will go maybe all the way down kind of like that. No, the head should be smaller. I want these horns to feel really big. I'm not shaking you too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when I got this, um, so now since since I got this, there's the Telus campaign that's like has Scottish um, cows in them. So people kind of in where I live in Canada know what they are. But before when I got it, I was like, what is this thing? This like bizarre. Like, I was like, it's obviously some kind of cow, but I'd never seen anything like it in my life. And so I was asking friends, like, whenever people came to my house, I was like, hey, I got this thing. Do you know what this is? And everyone was like, no, that is, like, the weirdest looking thing. <laughs> I have no idea. And then many months later, like, it might have even been, like, a year later, my friend Ewan, who is Scottish... <laughs> Came, came over to my house and was like, why do you have a Highland cow just like in your house? And I was like, is that what it is? It's a Highland cow? And he's like, yeah, in Scotland, these are the kind of cows that we have. They're called Highland cows. And I was so grateful for the discovery. And um, I have a bit of Scottish heritage, so I'm like, yeah, maybe we're kind of related. I feel like we kind of look the same, which reminds me. This is Year of the Ox, and I'm an ox! Woo -hoo. I don't know if it's, uh, in, in the research I was doing, I, um, was, uh, learning about Year of the Ox and what that means and blah blah blah, and I was thinking, Year of the Ox, I'm an ox, this is like, good luck year. But apparently that's not necessarily the case, it just means there's maybe lots of changes after 2020, I'm like, could we change more? Really? More changes? <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> but maybe they're gonna be really cool changes, in which case, that sounds great. I love cool changes. That's fun. So we'll see. In general, so last year was uh, the year of the rat, and rats are very uh, resourceful 
you can kind of throw anything at them and they're gonna survive they're gonna figure it out and I definitely feel like last year we all had to dip into our rat reserves and find out how we could survive in like these really bizarre circumstances but I'm glad it's over also because maybe this year will be less of a test in that kind of way and maybe we could like more like yeah I mean the so the ox in the Chinese zodiac from what I understand, I'm definitely not an expert on this. I'll actually link to a couple videos below about where people actually talk more about it in a way that actually is, uh, they know more what they're talking about. Um, but oxes have to do with harvest. Um, so I think it's kind of considered a good luck kind of sign. So hopefully we're harvesting something. I mean, it's very similar apparently to, um, in Western astrology, the, tor the sign of the Taurus, the bull. It's like, reliable, honest, hardworking, sort of like plodding energy, like kind of just, it's not like sudden windfalls or it's like working at something slow and steady. And um, I think that's cool because I think we all have maybe some new areas in our life where we're like, oh, I need to, this is something I need to work on or whatever. And the ox energy will give us that strength. Or so, I hope. <laughs> okay, so, really, I'm, I'm already getting pretty far here. I want to actually color this one. Normally, I don't have colors, but actually, perfect timing. My mom sent me a bunch of markers yesterday. I just got these in the mail. And it's like, there's like 50 colors, so we could like really color this off. So, we're at seven minutes now. I'm going to try to finish up this uh, part of it really quick here and then we can go straight into coloring because I feel like that might be kind of fun too. So if you have some colors, color along. Um, maybe I should have said that at the beginning. I don't know. You know what? It's just one of those days. You know, it's Mercury retrograde. I'm feeling it. It's, uh, it's a confusing time to be alive. It's hard to keep things straight. <laughs> okay. I wanted to have, you know me, with cheeks. I like a big fat cheek. In the drawing I had here, it's much more slender. This is like muscular, strong cow, but I like this one will maybe have a little chubs. And I want to have big, some of the, the Highland cows have these like huge fluffy ears. God, it's cute. So I think that seems... I think we kind of got the bones here. In the end, I actually sort of drew the face pretty big. So the horns actually comparatively don't look quite as large. I wanted it to have a more ominous almost look, but which in too deep now, babe. <laughs> We're just going with this. I think that's good. I'm excited once we draw the hair because, so the Highland cow is much like Charlie up here. They have like, like really do have like these weird like cowabunga dude type like long hairstyles. So I think maybe we'll give this guy like, yeah, it'll be going all over. Maybe covering one eye, like a bit of a boy band sort of aesthetic. I also drew some tongues in here because I was like, tongues are also really cute, but I think, I think we'll just keep this kind of simple. Yeah, yeah, I think this is good. So now to draw the hair. So I already kind of got a bit of the hair here, but, and then there should be some tufts on the top, little flyaways. They're sort of like, they have some hair that's like long, some that's shorter, but we'll definitely give them a, a good bang. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, 10 minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Okay. 
feel like this is too boy bandy. I want it more like in the front. Yeah, there we go. No hate to boy bands, but eh, maybe a little hate. Not no hate. I was thinking about having one of its eyes covered because you'll see a lot of them. They'll like their some of them actually that you can't even see their eyes at all. But I kind I like the idea of having some eyes. I just want to see what its nice eyes look like. And I think it should have long lashes. Very pretty. Very pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, something like that, babe. Something like that. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, 11 minutes now, so I guess let's get to markering. Let's outline this so we could color. So when you're drawing hair, there's kind of a temptation sometimes to draw like a, a single strand, like all the strands. You really don't want to do that. Well, I mean, maybe you do. <laughs> I don't know your business. But if you want to make it look like nice clumpy, it's like adding little details like right here at the, kind of the edges of the hair but then the middle parts of the hair just like you kind of just draw them in sections like you just divide it up into sections in your mind maybe but up here we could have a couple flyaways though maybe some more of the individual kind of hairs. Okay. This thing is fuzzy all around, so I'm not really going to do any hard lines because I want to make sure that we keep the illusion that there's just, just covered in hair, just a little fuzz ball. Except for the nose. The nose can be a little bit less like that. Perfect. Excuse me, Charlie. Oh, I did align to the wrong corner. YOLO. <laughs> okay. That's fine. And nostrils. These guys have some pretty serious nostrils. Serious lashes, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. So it's the Lunar New Year. It's also yesterday for when. I'm shooting this before, but Thursday, the 11th, is a new moon in Aquarius, 
as well. And it's a uh, quite a packed sky. There's a lot of planets in Aquarius right now. So many, there hasn't been that many in Aquarius since 1962. And uh, that was when Garth Brooks was born. <laughs> Garth Brooks was born under the last, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it. The last time there was this many planets in Aquarius. So if you're wondering, what will this time be like? Ask Garth Brooks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. I kind of feel like this was a mistake in here, these lines that I was drawing. But you know what? Mistakes happen. All right. I feel like I was expecting a lot of myself to try to draw and color this in 20 minutes. But maybe that's very ox of me, you know? Oxes probably demand a lot of themselves. They're very strong and resilient. Well, you know what? They probably don't bite off more than they can chew. Because they're so wise and responsible. So, not very oxen of me. But we'll make it work. Okay. Oh, I know I'm shaking you terribly. It's an earthquake! Ooh. Okay, I'm not even going to do a perfect job of this, we're just going to get the gist of it. And then, let's go with some colors. So when you're coloring something from your imagination, you need to also imagine where the light source is so you can get the shadows right. I'm going to say the light is coming down here, so the lightest spots are going to be here, the darkest spots are going to be here. I'm just going to grab out all of the uh, orangey ones and the browny ones to start here. I never use these, so I don't know actually how what they're going to look like on this paper. We'll see. So let's start... I'm gonna say that, uh, yeah, can we see it here? Yeah, we got some, there you go. I'm gonna start with this, um, I think this orange will be our light spot. So let's imagine, oh yeah, that's actually kinda dark. I guess the other ones will end up being darker though. Yeah, let's just go with it. Let's roll with it, babe. So I'm just going to imagine where some light might be hitting on the tips of these guys, probably right at the top in here as well. right in the top of this fluffy ear. I'm just kind of scratching away at it. Not really, not too much method to my madness at the moment. Mm -hmm. Probably catching some on the cheek. A little cheek action. Mm. All right, that's good for now. We can go back in after. And then the shadows. I almost feel like we should go with a brownie in the shadows. Oh, let's test out. Oh, this is what I should have been doing. Testing out the colors on this. I think, yeah. So this will be our shadow. So we know it's going to be a lot of shadow here on this side. Kind of just in the underneath in general. And the mouths are actually lighter in color around here. This part will be kind of pink, but this is lighter in color, so the shadow won't actually be as dark, even though that's a pretty shadowy spot. Oh yeah, it's gonna be real shadowy here. 
That's a nice shadow spot. Might be a bit shadowy here. And then of course, underneath all of this incredible hair, lots of shadows under here. maybe on the side of the nose. And I'm sort of making my strokes in how I would imagine the hair would be going. Not an exact science, but where I'm just sort of imagining the direction of the hair so that the strokes kind of look hair-like. Now, a mid-tone, I guess, probably be this guy. Oh yeah. So let's go in with all the, oh yeah. Ooh. And you can always add light or shadow on top. Okay. <laughs> ah. Both my phone that I'm shooting my face and this other camera died at like basically the same time. I guess at least they did it in unison, Mercury Retrograde, so we, I just took a 15 minute break to charge up for a minute. I think I didn't do anything while you were gone. Um, I, I mean, you know, I noticed it right away. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, we were so close. Anyway, so now we're just, we're still in the finishing part. I've got my mid-tone orange here. going in. I'm not gonna do a full full coloring really. We're just gonna give the impression. Actually that should be more yellow under there. Oh yeah, light right underneath those pretty eyes. Maybe some yellow right there. Oh, and there probably should be some a lot of light probably hitting right on top of the, the nose here. I know if you're watching, it seems like no time has passed or nothing has happened. But for me, I suddenly my instinct was to be like, so what did I miss? Did you guys uh, do anything while I was charging <laughs> my phone? Which, of course not. I mean, unless... You like paused the video, I guess. In which case, what'd you do? Was it fun? Want <laughs> uh, some more brown under there? Mm -mm. It's actually looking pretty cute. Didn't you love those Telus ads that had the, the Highland cows in them? So good. So good. It's weird that they never, like, I mean, if you lived in Scotland, you would know about them. But I think if you lived in Canada, where I live, it's like one of those animals that you just didn't know existed. It's surprising that something so cute in this magical internet age could go so long being undiscovered by the masses. But alas, such miracles still exist. Wonder what other adorable creatures lie waiting for us. Hopefully something else that looks like Highland cows. Cause these guys are just, it's too much almost. Cuteness is just, it's a lot, it's a lot. Oh, oh I need some yellow maybe in here. Okay, all oh, right, and then, all right, some yellow up there. Brown, probably. Is this a different brown? No. Close one. And wait, what was I gonna? 
you gonna put the, oh yeah, this is good, right around here. And then their noses are like, they kind of have a bit of pink. I'm gonna kind of go a little over the top, I think, with the pinky, because I feel like that would be cute. So let's see what we've got in terms of pinks. Oh, well, there's a lot, there's a lot. oranges down for now. Okay. I'm gonna have to get that one later. <laughs> Don't dry out in the next 10 minutes, please. Yeah, this is the right color. We're gonna need shadow color. kind of weird. Oh well, we're YOLOing. So my brother says, you can only YOLO once. Never forget. Unless you believe in reincarnation. In which case, you can YOLO over and over and over again. I feel like I'm like frantic now trying to get this done. Maybe I need to do these in more like two parters or something so that they're actually, excuse me. So I don't want these videos to be too long, but then I just feel like I'm like rushing like a maniac here. Ooh, I also want to give this pretty creature purple eyes, violet eyes. I'm reading, did you ever watch uh, True Blood? Well, oh, that's nice. Highland cows do not have violet eyes, by the way. I'm just getting creative. But anyway, the TV series is based on a book series that I really love, and I've been listening to the audiobooks recently. And right now, in the book I'm reading, Sookie is dating a werepanther who, when he's in his human form, has violet eyes. Which just sounds so lovely and romantical. But, like, also, like, it may, it's made me wonder, like, people don't really have violet eyes, though, right? Like, there's that's not really a thing. Even though you hear people talk about it, like, apparently, like, Elizabeth Taylor had violet eyes. I'm like, I'm still waiting on that proof. Um, but anyway, if you do have any evidence that there are people that have violet eyes, please send it along. Okay, I don't really know the horns. I kind of forget what color they are. I mean, here they're sort of brown, but I almost feel like they'd be like a gray. I'm gonna do... Oh yeah, this, this feels right. I think that's good. I mean, for a 25 minute drawing, I think that's pretty okay. Oh, a little Highland cow, Year of the Ox. Okay, well thanks for joining me and uh, happy Year of the Ox. I hope uh, this is a year where you get a lot done, you have a lot of cool harvests, and you work hard, and you're diligent, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope it's cool. Anyway, bye. Thank you.